Let's uh, talk about uh, Each Way Albo, the coal edition. Now, we know that Each Way Albo, the apparent preferred Prime Minister of Australia, wants to have it both ways. There's a climate emergency, but I won't tell you what our policies are. Coal is evil, but coal can keep going. Well, all of this is, of course, now starting to catch on as the official way the Labor Party should act. Let's go back to December 12, when Each Way Albo said this about climate and coal. Well, look, very clearly, I don't think there'll be another coal-fired power station built in Australia. There will be a transition uh, that needs to occur here in Australia towards zero emissions. But coal apparently still has a pl role to play in both the Australian community and, of course, in our energy sector, according to Each Way Albo. Remember, say one thing one day, say something the next, and nobody will pay attention, apart from us. Then, of course, there's Mark Butler. This is Mark Butler on Saturday, the climate change spokesperson for the Labor Party, the one who took the 45% emissions target that was rejected, the 50-50 renewable target that was rejected. Trying to sing off the same each way elbow sheet. We've seen plans this morning to spend potentially billions of taxpayers' money on building a new coal-fired power station that private investors will not touch with a barge pole, and yet more coalition MPs pushing the government to build incredibly expensive nuclear power stations right up and down the coast of Australia. Australia needs a plan for its future. Um, and what if nuclear was a plan for its future? It is, of course, the zero emissions technology. It's a climate emergency or not. Coal has a place or it doesn't. You could be forgiven for being slightly confused by the endless this way and that way when it comes to this particular opposition, but does that surprise you? The deputy leader, Richard Miles, he was on with uh, David Spears on Channel 2 today and, well, he's all over the shop. This government is walking down the track of actually putting up public money to subsidise something that well, the they market won't go... Any... They, no, no, they're they're no, holding they... a feasibility they... study, to be clear. Yeah, which is being paid for with public money. Yeah. Just so there's no confusion, a, a Labor government may allow a new coal-fired power station uh, if industry were to fund it. A, a, a Labor government will, will have the normal environmental approvals uh, for, for power stations. Okay. A well, Labor that... government is not going to put a cent into uh, subsidising coal-fired power. <laughs> uh, we're pro-coal, we're anti-coal, we're pro-low uh, emissions, but we won't do the thing that might actually lower the emissions. Each way, elbow disease is catching on everywhere. Well, we showed you last week Matt Thistlethwaite, who is a backbencher and is a bloke who fancies himself of going up the greasy pole of the Labor Party, and the trouble he got in when some rather direct questions were being asked by Chris Kenny. By the way, make sure you check out his show, 5 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. Prime time starts each and every afternoon at 5. This is Matt Thistlethwaite being, well, nothing. Are you now saying then, are you now agreeing, accepting that Australian climate policy, Australian emissions reductions policy, can have now influence on Australia's bushfire threat? Well, Chris, climate scientists tell us that we need to take stronger action, and if we do take stronger action, then there's hope that we can reduce the risk into the future. Now, that's what the experts are, are saying. I'm not an expert in this field, but I do accept the advice of those experts, and I accept the science. <laughs> So if Australia did everything, would it do anything? Uh, I, I, don't, 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 don't pin me down on that. My job here is just to throw shade at the government. He did know better tonight when he was on with Sherry Marks and the each way elbow disease. It is right up from the front bench to the deputy leader, to the shadow ministers, all the way to the back bench. This supposedly, according to the polls, is the people who are leading at the moment. We had a very, very strong policy. We had a carbon price. Uh, we established the Clean Energy Finance Corporation. We established the Australian Renewable Energy Agency and we boosted the renewable energy target. All of those policies were working. But and now we were you're, reducing putting pressure, emissions, you're putting pressure on the Prime Minister electricity now prices. Uh, to reduce emissions further, but the Labor Party doesn't have its own policy. What is Labor's policy? <laughs> well, Shari, we, we lost that election in 2013. We took two subsequent policies to the people. It's now 2020, uh, so what's your policy elections. now? Yeah, well, well, we lost those elections, Shari, and in the wake of those, it's only natural that we would review our policies and consult with the Australian public. But there's only one party that has delivered fair income action on climate change in government in this country, and that is the Labor Party. <laughs>
<laughs> so now, vote for us because we're the last ones who did something about climate change and the result of the things that we did, including putting a price on carbon, which increased electricity bills meant that we lost the election in 2013. When we promised to do more in 16 when we lost, uh, they lost. In 19 we lost. But trust us because we did something seven years ago that the people ultimately rejected. Each way elbow disease. It is catching fast. Speaking of each way elbow, I had to. I had to point this out. How is this? Uh, he is out there trying to tell all and sundry that, uh, well, he's not the one who's been politicising the bushfires. Roll the tape. I didn't do uh, an ad during the bushfire crisis. The Prime Minister authorised an ad on behalf of the Liberal Party during the bushfire crisis with uh, background mood music, uh, use of defence force imagery and a donate to the Liberal Party button on that ad. The Prime Minister uh, has uh, chose uh, to uh, try to politicise it. <laughs> um, apart from the fact that they were just telling people what they were doing because the media would refuse to report anything that the government was doing because it was all about the narrative about Get Morrison, despite the fact that, as we've pointed out four trillion times, it is the state government that has responsibility for emergency services. Each way elbow. I didn't politicise the bushfires. The Prime Minister did it first. Then how do you explain inviting the media when Twitter was going particularly crazy about the Prime Minister being overseas um, to not just have you delivering breakfast to the bushfire fighters, I don't believe you did it more than once, and doing press conferences from bushfire affected areas? On and on. But it's the Prime Minister who politicised bushfires. Each way elbow. The disease is catching.